So what happens to the co-signer when a car is repossessed? Hey everybody, it's Shamika. Please like, subscribe, and share my video. Well, I'm gonna tell you, if a car is repossessed, it is going to, and this is only if the company reports it to the credit bureaus. This is not always 100%. Sometimes they do not. Sometimes they just leave uh, the account and they stop reporting, or sometimes they just don't report at all. But if they happen to report and it hits the individual's credit report that is the um, owner of the car, the co-signer will also get a hit on their report. They should have already had that trade line reporting currently on their credit report, um, showing that the individual was making payments, um, that that alone was opened up. So if you did co-sign for somebody, it is very important that you make sure you check your credit more than you normally do because sometimes when that uh, original, well, not the main owner, I guess you want to call them, are um, experiencing financial difficulties, they do not tell you. Um, they are afraid sometimes and you don't find out until it is actually too late. So I would advise you to constantly check your credit report so that you can keep an eye um, on that uh, account without having to aggravate the other person to make sure. I, I, I do not um, believe in co-signing, but I do understand sometimes there could be some extenuating situ situations. You know, I'm not here to judge. I'm just stating it's just not a um, smart thing to do just because individuals sometimes falter on their promises and people get hurt meaning credit wise. Just want to make sure I clear that up. So again, if the person allows the car to get repossessed, it will show up on both individuals credit report that the car is in repossession and the clock starts um, from the date that that uh, first payment was missed. That is the date that they start the statute of limitations for the seven years uh, credit reporting limit. <clears throat> and based off of the state that you live in, your state statute of limitations uh, lets you know how long the creditor has to pursue you for that debt. So if you're not familiar with that, um, I'm gonna put both of um, the, well, I'm not both, I'll just put the one link below for the state <clears throat> statute of limitations so you can look. But um, that is what happens. So it will be seven years for both individuals. As far as removing that account, it can be quite difficult to remove it, especially if it's a fresh repossession. But what I will tell you is if you're trying to remove it from your account, you need to make sure you are also removing it from the other individual's account too. And the reason why is because your names are always tied together when it comes to that account or that loan. So you stand a better chance of removing them both so that they do not have the option to reappear if you do delete it singularly off of one of, you know, e either of your credit, but it can always reappear at some time. That just really depends on how um, ambitious the original creditor is about reporting that information. So I hope I answered somebody's question. And uh, again, please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you guys. Take care. Bye.